Hello everyone. Um, well, I took the decision to start making little videos in the morning when I can and when I feel like with my baby who is right here, Elias. Good morning. Um, he woke up at 6.30 actually, so it's a little while ago he woke up. <laughs> As you can see, it's a bit of a mess. Um, basically, well, I'm just going to keep the camera on him because I think he's cute. So, um, and he likes to see himself actually in the camera. What we're doing right now, it's, uh, we just had breakfast and, um, he likes to play with food. Um, anyway, so I just thought I would kind of give you a bit of a, um, insight, insight into our morning routine. Although this is not like our usual, I mean... It is our usual morning routine, but some days it's not exactly the same. So um, if we have like a group that we need to get to or something, uh, sometimes it's different, a little bit different. However, this morning, basically, um, one thing I know, like one thing it's a certain, one thing it's certain that it's part of our routine, it's changing his diaper when he wakes up from his sleep. He's going through an eight month sleep repression, I'm almost certain right now and it's very a bit difficult at, at night times however basically what we did um, it's um, so he woke up at 6 I think he woke up at 6 because to be honest uh, well I got up at 6 30 but he's never cries or anything so I never know when he's awake I do watch him on my camera from you know on the camera from my bedroom um, but I don't have the sound on because his bedroom is right next to mine so I don't feel the need to have the sound on because that will keep me awake if I hear the white noise and stuff so I think he he got up uh, woke up before me definitely and he was in his grow bag so he couldn't really move unfortunately and um, and he was kind of pined uh, pinned pinned to the his cot <laughs> cutie um and yeah so he couldn't really roll or crawl or whatever he's trying to do um and he was just sitting there you know lying down nicely very quietly and very good um how anyways so when he woke up i went to him um i heard some squeaking noises uh, coming from his room and then i assumed he would be up so then i got up really quick because i knew he's kind of he needs to grow back, so he can't do much uh, to entertain himself. Um, also, I took the comfort blanket because normally, uh, sometimes I would let him sleep with his comfort blanket, but obviously, as you all know, it's not safe to do so. Uh, not up until like one year of age at least. Um, yeah, he likes this, mama. He's a good e eater, like pure eater. He's, we're doing kind of a mixed feeding right now, as you can see, he's got on his high chair tray some avocado and some scrambled egg pieces which he likes to put all over the floor he likes to pick up and throw it all over the floor not into his mouth obviously um, which is pretty okay but then I have to clean thankfully I have the, um, the Hoover right next to uh, the living room so um, yeah we both had the same breakfast I cooked some bread some um, scrambled eggs for both of us and some pieces of avocado and we shared it so I was kind of like I had the avocado and the egg on his tray, um, allowing him to feel them and play with them and stuff like this. And I was feeding him pieces of egg and avocado at the same time. And right now he's eating um, Greek uh, fruit yogurt, like a couple of spoons with uh, like pureed um, peppers, like steamed. So I did I steamed some peppers, apples. Peppers, apple, butternut squash, and sweet potato, I think, and pear. Um, and I mix them up with some fruit Greek yogurt because he loves the Greek yogurt, um, yogurt in general. But this Greek yogurt is amazing. It's nice, it's creamy, and he loves it. So pretty much he's like on it. He's been having, you know, half of this tiny little thing tub. Um, he would love to play with the yogurt too, but I do not let him to do that not this morning because we played with um, oats yesterday and I had to clean after that and he went straight to the bath because he was oats from head to toe 
so yeah but that was fun that was fun so anyways this is our kind of like morning and oh by the way we're watching nursery mm -hmm. rhymes on the background by the way because this is the only thing that would keep him on his high chair um i do talk to him and sing to him and stuff but he's very restless at the moment i'm not sure if it's because he's okay baby i think that's enough i'm not sure whether it's because he is going through this regression um or just because he's restless as a baby <laughs> uh, but he is definitely becoming more mobile and he's very excited to be on the floor and roll and crawl and stuff like this so he doesn't like to sit in one place anymore um, he does like to play with food though you know like sensory play it's really good for him yeah food wise I mean yeah um, and what else can I say? So yeah, this is our morning at the moment. I'm not sure what we're going to do today because it's a bad weather outside. We did have activity yesterday because we went to, well, not really activity. The weather was pretty bad yesterday as well. But we went to visit a friend who has a one-year-old uh, little girl and also uh, she's expecting another one. So we went to visit her and that was nice because my baby played with her little daughter who he was trying to get the pacifier from her mouth it was so funny i should be doing a video when we go visit because it's literally i have to be like a police woman there <laughs> between them uh, he was trying to get her pacifier she wouldn't share toys um he would she would take everything from his mouth and hand he would take everything from not everything just the pacifier really and then um, they have two cats and so we ended up with like a lot of, I, I saw a lot of hair flying and I did not quite, you know, it's not my thing, but you know, I guess I'm almost certain Elias uh, inhaled one because he kind of choked at some point. Uh, but he does like animals. However, he wasn't very impressed. He likes dogs when he sees them on the street, but he didn't seem too impressed by this cat. Um, but it was really nice, you know, it's so nice to just be able to see him play with babies and stuff and I could see he's interacting um, which you know the lockdown I, I thought that the lockdown has turned him into kind of a cave baby <laughs> but it seems that he does like to interact with other babies anyways so yeah this is it I think oh, I'm gonna turn off the, uh, the nursery uh, rhymes uh, now and let him just play on his own a little bit on the floor while I drink my coffee and I have this um, meal prep book which I ordered yesterday and I think I did mention in my uh, video for moms, um, you know, just for moms and um, he's gonna have to have his nap I think around 8.30 if I'm not wrong I'm not even sure because I forgot to turn on the Huckleberry app last night because he woke up, so anyways uh, so he's going to have his nap again, maybe around 8.39. And then, because I think he's trying to transition to two naps. Um, it's a good routine because he goes to bed at 7, 7.30 p.m. So I, I kind of like that. But at the moment, it's a bit of a like go with the flow. At the same time, I'm trying to keep the structure, you know, of naps. So um, I don't let him get overtired and stuff. Right, baby? He's so cute. He's so cute. He's such a cute little baby. Elias. And who's quite messy. But he's not that bad, actually. Um, when I put the bib on him, it really makes not much sense because it still goes all over. And by the way, he doesn't really like to drink from his sippy cup. He likes to drink from a cup. When he sees me drinking water from my cup, he just goes like, ah. Oh, give me some and he likes to you know try to drink from the cup um, he's not a big fan of water and he doesn't take his bottle right after he wakes up so for example he was uh, without food or milk uh, for like 11 hours or something I attempted to give him like some milk this morning he just wouldn't take it like because he only eats when he's um, before his nap times so whether that's a big mistake I've made I don't know or it's a good thing I don't know but uh, one thing is certain he likes to eat he eats food in the morning for breakfast so and it's not just four spoons yeah it's more than four spoons for sure so I would count that as a meal <laughs> if you ask me uh, plus I think he almost had like not one egg but I would say maybe one egg you know 
the peace side gave him, uh, given him. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna turn this off now. I'm gonna put him on the floor so he can play uh, a little bit on his own, and then I will sit with him for a little while while I drink my coffee. I think on the floor, and I need to hoover the floor because he otherwise he's gonna roll in egg. Baby, I'm not sure whether he's teething or something because. Yeah, he's very, very upset in the evening. Look at that. I'll just put it close to him. He loves seeing himself in there. Who's that? Elias, who's that? Who's that, Mama? Who's there? Who's that boy? Who's that cute boy? Who's that cute boy? Who's that cute boy? Yeah, he's already did it. Oh, no, no. Sorry, guys. That's it. I'm turning this off because, as you could see, he just found. So, there he is. Um, sorry for the little mess at the end, but <laughs> I, I got the tripod closer to him and he managed to reach uh, to it. So um, I'm so sleepy. This this weather makes me so sleepy. But yeah, this is part of our morning routine, I would say. Um, we'll speak to you soon. And yeah, this is pretty raw. Like I don't, I will not, probably more than certain, I will not edit videos because I do not have the apps and my laptop is pretty old laptop and I'm not very much with technology so this is on my phone and for me it's so much easier just to share uh, you know days of our lives uh, through our phone and record it so much easier oh look he's kind of sleepy now I think um, yeah anyways thank you for watching and um, I will try to do another one maybe later on or we'll see we'll see we'll just go with the flow with this um but we do have things to share because i cook for elias i you know feed him th almost three times a day um we do play together at least one hour a day and you know throughout the day but you know i he's very independent and he likes to play on his own right He's so big, I can't believe it. Okay, guys, I'll speak to you soon. Have a lovely day. I am so sleepy. <laughs> Bye.